Hi everybody, welcome to my YouTube channel Dr. Srinivas Medical Concepts and my FB page Dr. Srinivas Concepts. This is Dr. Srinivas, Neurologist from Andhra Pradesh. I am also the medical author of the book Focus Neurology. Today we are going to talk about a very very interesting and exciting topic the torsional nystagmus in benign positional paroxysmal vertigo. Why should the torsional nystagmus beat towards the affected semicircular canal? So that's going to be our discussion today. It's very interesting and exciting concept. We shall make it easier to understand. But to understand the torsional nystagmus and the fast component beating towards the posterior semicircular canal, we need to understand the vestibulo-ocular reflex and cause called opposite warm cell. If we understand this, very easy and interesting to understand the torsional nystagmus. So vestibular-ocular reflex, if we understand this, understanding torsional nystagmus will be very easy, interesting and exciting. Vestibular ocular reflex. We have the vestibular apparatus, eighth nerve. Imagine this is the left. We have the vestibular ap apparatus, eighth nerve, connecting to the PPRF on the opposite side. Example, right side. This PPRF connects to the sixth nerve and the lateral rectus on the right side and via the medial rectus through third nerve on the left side. So when my left vestibular apparatus is stimulated, my right PPRF is stimulated, so the eyes will move towards the right side. So when I turn my head to the left side, the left vestibular apparatus will get stimulated and eyes will move towards the opposite side, the first component. The second, we have the frontal eye fields also. Imagine the left frontal eye fields, that also descends down crosses and goes to the PPRF on the opposite side, exactly like vestibular apparatus. So the left vestibular apparatus stimulates the right PPRF, the left front light fields also stimulates the right PPRF. So PPRF connects the left lateral rectus to the sixth nerve and the medial rectus to the third nerve and the eyes will be shifted towards the right. So very very important whether it's the left vestibular apparatus which is stimulated or the left front light fields which is stimulated, it will push the eyes towards the opposite side through the PPRF which is present on the opposite side, that is on the right side. Very important. So now let's see cold opposite warm saved. This mnemonic. So we'll talk about warm. When you put warm water, it stimulates the vestibular apparatus. So when we put warm water, it stimulates the vestibular apparatus. So what happens? It pushes the eyes towards the opposite side. That is towards the right side. So now the frontal eye fields as this is connected to the PPRF, this is connected to the opposite PPRF and it tries to push back the eyes towards the, to make it normal. So it will push the eyes towards the affected side, let's say, and therefore there is a nystagmus by the right frontal eye fields. So when we put warm water, the nystagmus is towards the same side when we stimulate it. When we put cold water in the left vestibular apparatus, we are inhibiting the vestibular apparatus. So the eyes cannot move towards the opposite side. So the right vestibular apparatus will push the eyes towards the same side. So now the left front eye fields will try to push back the eyes towards its normal position. So it tries to push. So the nystagmus is on the opposite side. So very easy to remember cow, C-O-W-S, the mnemonic. If we put cold water, the eyes will move towards the same side, but the nystagmus will be towards the opposite side. Cold opposite, C-O. When we put warm water, we are stimulating the vestibular apparatus eyes will move towards the opposite side, so nystagmus will be towards the same side. So remember the second comment, warm, when we stimulate the vestibular apparatus, the nystagmus will be towards the same side, that is towards the stimulated side. 
when we put warm water and stimulate the vestibular apparatus eyes will go to the opposite side but the nest tragus will be to the same side as that of the stimulation same side of the vestibular apparatus if we know this now understanding the torsional nystagmus is very very easy so when we what happens in the benign positional paroxysmal vertigo the auto lift gets launched in the posterior semicircular canal and it starts moving so when we push when we put our head backwards and turn it to the left side we are stimulating the posterior semicircular canal the auto lift starts moving and stimulates the posterior semicircular canal so when the vestibular apparatus is stimulated what happens to the eyes it will move towards the opposite side but since we have put the head down that is left superior rectus and superior oblique intorsion right inferior rectus and and extorsion so this is the normal stimulation so when you put the head to the back and stimulate it by turning the head to the left side the autolith in the posterior semicircular canal starts moving so the vestibular apparatus gets stimulated like we as if we are putting the warm water it gets stimulated so the eyes will move towards the opposite side now what does the front life fields do it tries to put back the eyes to its normal position so it pushes the eyes towards the normal side so there is a torsional nystagmus towards the stimulated left posterior semicircular canal so very interesting in posterior semicircular canal the benign positional paroxysmal vertigo due to posterior semicircular canal because the autolyx stimulates the vestibular apparatus eyes will move towards the opposite side but the front life field tries to compensate by pushing the eyes towards the same side as that of stimulation so there is a torsional nystagmus to the towards the affected side because the autolyx stimulates the posterior semicircular canal so here we can see when the autolyx is stimulated the eyes will move towards the right side but the frontal eye fields will try to push it towards the towards the stimulated side so nystagmus will be towards the stimulated side so in summary in posterior semicircular benign positional paroxysmal vertigo autolyx will typically cause will typically cause this to be overactive this will cause torsional movement away rotates to the opposite side but then the frontal eye fields the corrective input from the right frontal eye field causes the causes the torsional nystagmus with a fast component towards the involved side so when the vestibular apparatus is stimulated because of the autolith in the post semicircular canal eyes will push towards the opposite side but frontal eye fields will make a corrective nystagmus and tries to push the eyes towards normal see so there's a corrective nystagmus towards the stimulated side that is a posterior semicircular canal where there is autolith so wonderful explanation so same basic principle the base principle is based on the cows warm stimulated warm when we put stimulated when we put warm water stimulation the eyes will move towards the nystagmus will move will be to the same side same mechanism applies to in the benign positional paroxysmal vertigo because of the autolith in the posterior semicircular canal wonderful explanation very exciting but it is based on this principle the vestibular ocular reflex i hope you have understood listening to this exciting lecture if you have any suggestions or comments kindly post on to my youtube channel but please like and subscribe my youtube channel dr sinos medical concepts and my fb page dr sinos concepts thank you bye